I look. Uh, I look. There is no baseball game. What that Saturday? Honey Hush. Yeah, I'm telling. Man, I tell you what, I was like pulling yeah. teeth. Here you go, honey. No, 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 no. Come on, you're good. I got three dollars right here. Well, I really appreciate that very much. Wait, I got a question for you. My weekend's complete. Is it, I really appreciate it. I'd be glad to tell you all. I'm not sure which one's public record. Is it police reports or arrest reports? Police reports and arrest reports are both the same thing. It's no difference. Okay, so those would be considered... Uh, Reports which disclose the nature, substance, and location of a crime. Is that right? Step over to this window and Melanie can answer all those questions. All right, great. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, Melanie. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm just, I'm trying to, uh, I'm not sure which, what I'm asking for. Okay. Reports that disclose the nature, substance, and location of any crime or alleged crime. Oh, that's just incident reports. Incident reports. Can I see the ones from Monday? Um... I'm not really sure if we have all the ones for Monday. You might have to go through Jennifer Timmons. We send all of our requests for all the media stuff through Jennifer Timmons. That's who you'll have to talk to. Is she available? Uh, you can step to that window right there and ask to speak to her. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I was trying to make a public records request for some incident reports. Which which dates? I asked for Monday. Are you currently recording? All right. You can't record inside. You can you can report outside, but not inside. I can't record in here. No, because we have victims and different people handling business. Um, if you did it outside, that's perfectly fine. But when people request <laughs> records or go there and make police reports or certain information that we'd rather not uh, be recorded. But if there's something specific that I can help you with, could you start recording, please? Can we something? step outside? Yeah. I'm not willing to talk to you yeah, without definitely. the camera. Definitely. If there's something specific that I can help you with, you can do that. There is. Like, like I told them, I want, I want to see the incident reports for Monday. Oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. I couldn't hear you. I wanted to see the incident reports for Monday, which all incident reports from Monday. Yeah. And now don't we have to do a, a FOIA, FOIA request. request for that? Because there's so many. It's, it's all. Oh, right. Oh. Say so every every incident report that was taken since Monday you need? No, no. Just the ones that were taken on Monday. Yeah. Citywide, correct? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be something that we can't get for you within the business day. You can't you can not within the business. Is it day? because of how late it is or is well, it if I it, came at nine o'clock in the morning I couldn't well, get them either? I can I can tell you this. It it will cause us to have to pull somebody off of their, their normal duty mm -hmm. right now just to pull that volume of reports. That is correct. And this is Jennifer Timmons our Okay. PIO. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Typically um, if a member of the media or a member of the public requests an incident report um, related to any crime that has happened in the past 14 days, right. which clearly yours um, is within that 14 day, um, they don't require a FOIA if it's like right. one or two reports. But since there could be 20, 25, 100, you have to fill out a FOIA request yeah. through City Hall. And what they do is they have to review the information to make any, any necessary redactions. Right. So, so what if I just said, I want, just pick five and give it to me? Because I'm, I'm just trying to see if you guys are complying with 30-4-30, okay. which, which are, says I can verbally request and inspect in person sure when can. I appear in person. But you're telling me I can't inspect without filing a FOIA. We don't, we don't and I think what you're talking about is the media book, the, the public records book. Not, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. the state law. We, we, due to the volume of reports that you're asking for, we cannot, at this time, pull somebody off of the line or off of the desk to just do that. Because it will cause us, to, you know, in manpower, it will cause us to have to stop doing what their normal course of duties to do just that. Now, are you wanting to make copies of those? or you just, just want to inspect review? them? We can't do it at this time, but, you know, Given some notice, you could do that for us. You can make that available. Anything that's you know public records, arrest records, mm -hmm. um, booking records, things like that. 
I think the point too is that we don't know exactly how many reports yeah. were generated on a Monday. And that's where the FOIA comes in because if it's again like one or two, mm -hmm. if you say, Jennifer, can you just find one for me? I could scan it in, send it to City Hall, but since the process requires us to send it to City Hall, City Legal Department, they have to review it. So if you want to give me your address, I mean, I don't know what types of, if, if you're just trying to test us to see how compliant we are, I can pick out two or three to, That's kind, of, fine. to kind of help you. Um, but I need your email address. You can't, you can't give them to me now, is they what you're saying. They have to be redacted. They have to be reviewed by city legal first. Right. That is, that's just how it is. Okay. Um, that's the process that we have to follow. All right. So I just, I just want to make sure I'm understanding correctly that it's really <laughs> not possible to come in in person and request to see incident reports for the last 14 days and inspect unless, them in person unless, unless you file redacted, a written form. Unless the, unless they are redacted, because there could be information on there, including VIN numbers, serial numbers yeah. of a weapon, I understand. private cell phones, that we are not permitted by law to give to anyone. Right. Whether they're in person or whether they ask um, through an email request. Is it true that at one time you guys had those publicly available for everybody? It, I, it was my understanding, somebody told me that at one time they were like in, they were like in a binder out for, for people right. now, to before, see. Before I came here, and I've only been here when I was a reporter, there was a media book that the media could come in and review. Now, what that process was, I'm not sure. I wasn't here then. If I'm remembering correctly, <clears throat> it had the, what we call in Copeland on the front page, and it just had the, where it occurred, what time it occurred. Um, right, that's what it's supposed limited, to be, very, yeah. Very limited The nature, substance, and location yeah, of yeah. any crime. And we stopped doing that some years ago, uh, probably almost four years ago now. Because reports are just more specific. Yeah, and we see we're very specific on every page of the report now. We don't, we no longer do that, that brief on the front page. Um, we do, we, I mean, we put everything out there. Okay. Um, and, and that's how we do it. But in terms of, you know, getting information out, we have no problem with that. But we just would, you know, be afforded the opportunity to redact that personal information, give those victims their privacy, which is the same reason why we don't really want people recording inside because. People, is it know, illegal to do it's, it? It's not illegal. It's not it's illegal. Just, you just don't just, want people don't, to do it. I just want to make what, sure because I've, yeah. I've done it before. Yeah. Well, it's, it's yeah. a practice that, that, that we started because it's, you get a CDV victim uh, vic, uh, comes in the juvenile. lobby, a juvenile victim that comes in. That's stuff that we have to protect them from that. And officers and, and people come here all the time to make reports and we just have to protect their privacy. Yeah, but I'm just trying to make sure I understand it. It's, well, it's not illegal, it's not right? Illegal, but so. We just don't. We but don't I'm just saying. So, but if I do go in there with we'll my camera, you, you're going to ask me to leave, and then if outside. I don't leave, you're going to. We'll just ask you, escort you out, and make sure that you know no victims are in the lobby or in earshot. Or, I you think know. I should be able to document myself trying to make a public records request. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, but well, you're, you're. I mean, we're we're totally transparent as it relates to you know your request <laughs> and and trying to fill it where we can. But it, you know, right now due to the volume of reports that came in Monday. Um, we just can't fill that that request for you. How about any days for the last 14 days? Is, is, there, is there any you can do? Yeah, I'm sure we can. We would have to send it through. And, and it's so so it's, it's, it's still a process. It's too late to have that happen yeah, today. It's still a process. I mean, I can't. I can't promise. But what I can do since it's now 421, if, if you want me just to pull a couple for you, then I can send them through, scan them in, send them through email to City of Legal, they review them, and tell them that you know you're requesting it be done if possible. Um, to try to expedite it, mm -hmm. um, and to, it's obviously before five o'clock. But again, I don't know what I, I can put the request in for you. Can one of you ask, answer a policy question for me, by any chance? Is, are, are you just a regular officer? Well, I'm just, I'm just asking. Are you? I'm not. You're, what's your title? I'm the acting chief. Please. Oh, you're the acting chief. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> regarding the officer conduct policy, I've got a copy of it. I just wanted to ask you a question okay. about a policy that's in there. Okay. It says. Uh, that officers of city policy city policy okay, yes yeah, city, city of columbia police department uh co officer conduct policy 495 page one anyway it, in there it says twice that um that city police officers are to present uh their city employee identification card on, on demand it, and that that goes to citizens asking for it is that right yes okay i just i wanted to clarify that that's all yeah you have to uh, 
and a lot of people refer to it as badge numbers, as you can see. Right, and see, all of our officers have badge numbers. And I understand. So that. I would say, you know, Mel Ryan Kelly, my employee number is one zero nine seven seven, and, and that makes me clearly identify. Right. The two. And the reason I ask is because one day I asked the officer for his name and employee number, uh -huh. and he refused to give it to me. So right. I was seeing if I needed to be specific and say, hey, show me your city of Columbia employee ID, because I was trying not to have to do that, because I, I think that's kind of maybe rude a little bit, saying, give me your ID. Your purpose was and asking yeah, did he know? Question, just, or was there we were testing him as well. Oh, he, or? Had, he had just threatened me, uh -huh. and uh, I walked out of the police station, decided to come back and get his name and badge number, and he wouldn't give it to me. And, and we do have a to we talk do have to a IA, form right? Yeah, I, right I there. talked to Internal Affairs, and you know, he he said, you know, is it really that big of a deal? And I said, well, yeah, I think following well, policy wanna, is a big deal. Yeah, well, anytime but anytime you would like to make a complaint, or we we have specific forms yeah, that we do. I know. I didn't. Something. I didn't think it was okay. going to go anywhere though. So right. I didn't worry well, about it. We try to be again tra as transparent as we can, as long as that didn't impede an impending investigation or ongoing investigation. We, we try to be as compliant as possible as it regards to officer conduct and FOIA request. Yeah. Okay? Because these are all public documents. This is a public building. Right. But and that's respect, why I'm concerned about the camera yeah. thing. But again, with respect to victims. Right. Um, well, I mean, they're in a public lobby of the police station. So anybody can walk in and see them uh, with their eyes. Yeah, but not. Know? And, no. and your cameras are public record. So I can well, just FOIA your cameras they're, if they're I wanted only, to. They're only video. They, there's no audio. Right. Like that. Okay? But yes. Yeah, and they have, the victims yeah. have a right to privacy. Even in the lobby, not in a public department. lobby, they don't. Even in the lobby, yeah. we try to make sure the victim of the crime, the victim of the crime, and the victim uh, rights act <clears throat> and bill. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Yeah. We have to make sure we protect the victim. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello, sir. How Thanks are you? for your time. You